All right, ladies and gentlemen, today for Organic Friday, we are talking about amines. It's like NH3. Right. Well, they are, you can think of them as ammonia derivatives. What you should know about amines is they are weakly basic compounds. They actually tend to be amphiprotic. They are very weakly acidic as well. But they act mostly as bases. Right. Um, and they tend to have unpleasant odors. Fish odors are often amines. And that's why I have this lovely tropical fish picture here. And not because I was recently in the Caribbean. <laughs> All right. So they're weakly basic compounds and they're smelly. It's usually unpleasant. When you walk them through the fish market, and old fish amines that you're detecting. Your noses are quite good at detecting amines. All right. You can think of them as ammonia derivatives, all right, in which one or more hydrogens have been replaced with a carbon-containing group. Right. They can get quite involved. So this is the, this is a basic amine very simple amine, I should say, right, where one of the hydrogens has been replaced. You can replace, you know, more than one. Um, you can put them into different kinds of groups. So amines show up all over the place. So our basic amine group is RNH2, and that's what we'll be focusing on, but they can have more su substitutions than uh, just the one hydrogen. These show up all over the place. And you'll notice, of course, with a lot of organic compounds, they'll have more than one functional group. Right, so that's very typical. All right, we're just focusing on the basic structural formula here. All right. um, so they do take lots of different forms. So here we have an amine group. Amino acids have amino groups in them amine groups. So here's the amine group in phenylalanine. All right. You'll notice it also has a carboxylic acid group. That's why it's an amino acid. Um, so let's go on and talk about how to name amines. For simple amines, it's very easy to name them. Basically, you name the R group, that, that carbon-containing group, and put the, the word amine on the end. All right. So if we look at this first structure, how many carbons are in it? One. What, what do we call <coughs> groups with one carbon in them? Methyl. So this is methylamine. What would the name of this structure be? Butylamine. Well, how many carbons are in it? One, two, three carbons, methyl ethyl propyl, so this is propyl amine, All right. and this is the one I showed with the stinky fish, All right. how many carbons, one, two, three, four, five carbons, so this is pentyl amine. <coughs> everyone okay? Pretty easy? Great. 